have something pretty exciting for you guys. Um, I excuse the dog sneezing in the background. We're babysitting uh, Chris's parents, Chris's family's dog right now. Kira's in the background. And since I was so excited about this box, uh, I actually did Grinch themed makeup to suit the video and to suit the mood of this box. So yeah, I was really into it. <laughs> I recently subscribed to the soap box from Fortune Creek Soaps. And I've actually never tried any of their products, so I figured what better way to try it than to get their seasonally box. Soap box comes out every three months seasonally, and uh, if you live in America, it would be $19.99 for each box, and in Canada, it's $28, which really is a great deal considering it's only like $8 more for anywhere in Canada, and then internationally, anywhere outside of that is 34 I think yeah yeah 34 sorry my my writing is so messy that even I can't read it so that's actually really great for what you're getting so I guess I'll get right into it um, this is the postcard type deal with all the product information on the back that they send with, the, with each one and the names of these products are actually really really cute <laughs> Um, first is Cindy Lou Who Roll-On Perfume. All of the liquid products came in this little drawstring bag, which I thought was really cute. Cindy Lou Who uh, looks like this, and it's a plastic bottle with a little roll-on topper. And the description of this one is a fragrance that reflects her sweet, innocent heart. Um, this one just smells like really sweet, girly floral to me. Yeah, it's really floral. Um, it reminds me a tiny bit of Sweet Pea from Bath and Body Works, but without the fruity notes that are in there. And, um, there is a little teensy tiny bit of musk, but it's not enough to make it a uh, mature scent. So it's still something that's very young, but very, very floral, very springtime scent. And actually from the name of this, Cindy Lou Who, I thought it would smell like something Christmassy at least, like Christmas cookies or marshmallows or something, something a bit sweeter um, and a bit more foody probably. <laughs> probably just because I associate um, how the Grinch stole Christmas with like the the Christmas feast that they have in the movie and like the fudge tasting that the Grinch has to do. Yeah, that's what I associate it with so maybe that's why I just thought it would be a food scent. The next thing that's listed on here is Hubilation. Um, that's the scent and OCD is the product and OCD is actually their um, hand sanitizer and this one has kind of holographic colored glitter in it like the silver holograph glitter and the description of this one says a celebration of cool peppermint with a hint of cherry but I would say that cherry is the it's splattered everywhere <laughs> but I would actually say that cherry is the main note of this and that mint is the background it doesn't smell like alcohol like you don't really have to wait for the alcohol to evaporate to get that um, get the scent and there's not like a there's not like a, a crap ton of glitter in here so it's not gonna make your hands glittery every time you use this but yeah I think that cherry is definitely the main note which is okay but cherry scented things always remind me of the cough medicine you have to take when you're really little and with the mint, yeah, I think that medicine had a bit of mint in it too, so it kind of just smells like cough medicine to me. But once it airs out a bit, it's a lot nicer. <laughs> the next thing listed on here is a body wash called Cheermonger, which I thought was really adorable. And underneath this one, it says, go overboard on Christmas cheer with a blend of chocolate marshmallow and peppermint. This smells so good. It smells just like mint hot chocolate with marshmallows on it. Oh, it smells so good. I have yet to use this, so I don't know if this scent lingers, but even if it doesn't, like, just, it would make your shower smell so good. I love this scent, and it doesn't smell like the, um, like the fake chocolate that a lot of chocolate scents can have. It smells like legitimate hot chocolate. This next product is called Personal Space. It's their, uh, odor neutralizer and air freshener. So basically spray this on anything that you want to smell good. And the scent of this one is Dear Santa, I Can Explain. And it says, get ready for your personal space to be invaded once it's fragranced with this heady blend of pine and tangerine. I thought this was a great idea for a fragrance, especially for um, an air freshener. It smells so good. It smells like Christmas trees with that hint of citrus, like a sweet citrus. 
smells so good. And every year in our Christmas stockings, well usually at least, we get an orange or a clementine in our stockings. So the scent of this tangerine and pine really reminds me of Christmases with my family. I love it. The next thing listed on here is actually the fortune cookie soap, it's like their signature, what they're known for. The hand soaps that are shaped in a fortune cookie, but I'm going to leave that till last because it's really adorable and I love it. The next thing is this um, Naughty or Nice bath fizz, and it has Naughty or Nice with the like, little check boxes beside it and Naughty is checked off. And the description of this one says, just because you, you've been a little naughty this year doesn't mean you don't deserve something nice. And it's actually shaped like coal, which I thought was a great idea. So here's what it looks like, and it's a bit crumbled into pieces, probably just from shipping. But coal would be crumbled into pieces anyway, so not a big deal for me. And it smells a bit like marshmallows with a hint of chocolate. And maybe a tiny bit of fire scent. I know that sounds really weird, but it might be my mind playing tricks on me because it's shaped like coal but it does smell really, really nice. And the next thing listed is their whipped body cream and it is called Pinch of Grinch. And it's green, so it's appropriate for the theme. And it says, a fresh and intoxicating blend scent befitting the Grinch who stole Christmas. So it doesn't really say what notes are in it, but to me it smells like citrus, maybe like the tiniest bit of pine and a bunch of other fruits that are mixed in there. Um, I know that I'm not very great at describing this scent, but let's see. Ooh, that's really thick. I actually haven't used this yet, but it's super duper thick. No, yeah, it's more like lemon lime citrus than an orange citrus with a teensy tiniest hint of pine, which is really makes it more Christmassy, I think. And it feels like it's gonna have the same moisturizing effect that the Villainess uh, whipped creams do for me. I think that's going to last me quite a while because of the size of the sample, which is great. And then these little guys look like gumdrops, weren't actually listed on the postcard, and but they're called Hydrate Me, which is their solid body lotion massage oil, and they're called Goody Goody Gumdrop. So they look like, oh, they're very melty, but they look like little gumdrops, which is super adorable. And there's a pink one, a green one, and a yellow one and I've already used a piece of this yellow one. Oh, it's so nice. It smells like like a grapefruit citrus. Yeah, and they're super, super moisturizing. They are a bit oily, like the oil does stay on top of your skin for a little while, so I think they're more appropriate for a massage oil than like a hand moisturizer. Or maybe, um, maybe right after you got out of the shower type moisturizer, so it has a chance to soak in before you get on with your day. So you're not putting it on like right in the middle of something at the office and you have to sit there with oily hands for a couple minutes. So last but not least is this adorable fortune cookie soap and it's called Holiday Cheermeister which is so great. Um, I'm super excited for this. It's got a little carrot on it and it's uh, I think it's meant to be probably cream cheese icing that's on top of it and it smells exactly like carrot cake like a spicy carrot cake. And there's a little fortune inside that you can always pull out and read. Um, pull out before you use the soap actually because you don't want soggy paper all over. But um, it's so adorable and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use this because it's so great and it smells so good. I might end up just keeping this guy in my bathroom just because it looks adorable. But it smells great and it looks great and it's a great they actually have a fortune inside I think that's a great idea they also included a coupon a coupon for a ten dollar discount on like a future order which is an amazing idea because if you try these samples you might want to grab a full-size product and it's great of them to give you a little bit of money off on that and they threw in a candy cane for the Christmas season so overall I'm thrilled with this box I mean it is it is almost $30 for me in Canada, but I think it's well worth it to get to try out the products before you buy and also just to um, to get to know the brand. It was a great experience. And I think I'm going to continue with the subscription because it works out to only $10 a month. Uh, I think that's really affordable and I think it's great of them to make it seasonal so that they can customize their products for each season. Uh, so yeah, I, I highly recommend this to you guys and let me know if you try this out. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.